Hello Libra, welcome to your weekly forecast for June 1st through the 6th. We're going to see what's happening the week ahead with this lovely deck here. And then we're going to pull, because my nails put me in a unicorn mood. We're going to pull a unicorn oracle message for you guys from that unicorn deck there. So, without further ado, my darling Libras. Let's see what's happening for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising in the week ahead. Keep in mind, my dears, that we have the full moon in Sagittarius happening this week. And it is an eclipse, so the energy is magnified. And the full moon in Sagittarius is all about going to be living your truth, being in your freedom. So there's going to be some big energies and big shifts happening for a lot of people. We're going to see how the energies are affecting you guys. And we're going to go from there. So without further ado, my dears, my darlings, your first card is the Queen of Swords. This is you. This is that powerful Libra energy. This is intellectual. This is intelligent. This is decision making that comes in in the way of, uh, you know, not letting your emotions get the best of you being able to make the decisions that are going to honor you and that are going to be in your best and highest good to get you towards your goals. Uh, you guys who watch my videos, you've heard me say this in the past. When it comes to the Queen of Swords, she does not suffer fools. She doesn't have time for it. She doesn't have patience for it. She's not about it at all. And you're either with her or you need to get the heck out of her way. She's not going to deal with it. She's not going to do it. Okay, so this is a very, very uh, focused energy when we see Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords also comes up when you're getting really serious about aspects of your life and you're looking at where the distractions are and you're removing the distractions. So for some of you, this is going to be a week where you're getting into better habits, especially around time management. If there's been um, uh, uh, projects and things you've been wanting to get to, but you just can't seem to get to them, like this is the week that you're going to be able to get that clarity and that you're going to be able to make that um uh, uh, do that work and you're going to be able to uh, get the timing right so that you're able to uh, you know get these things done so that they're no longer eluding you they're no longer running away from you that you're you know you're coming into this success uh, queen of swords can be like I said air sign energy so it could just be you really harnessing your air sign energy you may be dealing with with another air sign that could be the case uh, and you know, this is just about boundaries. This is a card about boundaries. This is a card about coming into your success, coming into what needs to be done and not feeling guilty about that. You know, being able to just draw a line and say, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for that. Libra, I feel like a lot of you have people that have been pulling on you. Like your phone has been busy. I feel like a lot of you, your phone has been busy. And you're like, oh my gosh, I know we had Venus retrograde, but you think it was Mercury retrograde, the way that everybody's reaching out and talking, talking, talking. And I feel people are reaching out to you like wanting advice, wanting help, wanting guidance. And it's like you're giving them that time and then they're going around and they're they're not listening to you and they're having a problem. They're coming back to you and you're like, oh my gosh, if you would have just listened to me the first time, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. So Libra, I feel like a lot of you are just nipping that in the bud. You're like, I don't have time for it. I don't have time for it. And they're on their own. So I feel for some of you, you're you're just kind of minimizing distractions and you're just telling people you know sorry can't can't help you with that right now because it's been taking so much of your time and taking you away from what you need to be doing your next card here libra <laughs> i don't believe this this is hilarious is king of swords this is not a brand new deck i've used this deck many many times um in fact those of you that watch the new year 2020 forecasts might remember this deck. This deck was used for all of those and for the extended as well. Uh, so you have Queen of Swords and King of Swords. So when this happens, a lot of you are coming into some divine balance. You're, divine, you're, you're balancing your feminine and masculine energies. You're coming into uh, balance here with planning and action. Uh, you know, I kind of feel Queen of 
swords followed by king of swords it's like you're putting your money where your mouth is or like you're backing it up like you're ready to like you would bet on yourself you're going for with that kind of confidence you would bet on yourself like i'm gonna do this i'm gonna make this i just started hearing in my in my i don't know what it is about you guys libra but when i do your reading uh more so than the other signs there's always songs that come to me during your reading and i just heard the song put your money on me uh from uh from arcade fire uh so i feel like that might be kind of the energy a lot of you are coming into this week where you're like i'm gonna succeed i know i'm gonna succeed you can bet on it you can take that to the bank a lot of you are in that energy okay king of swords is also a card about negotiating king of swords is really talented and really skilled at figuring out how to find the common ground to get people on his side right and that's kind of a libra trait if you think about it because libra you guys are really great at understanding the underdog you guys are really great at understanding different aspects or different sides of a situation or a story and you're about fairness you're about balance you're about like you know it, it should be equal for everybody so some of you might be gravitating towards some kind of a career change where you're wanting to go into some kind of like you know being a mediator uh in some way or being a negotiator in some way or you're just negotiating things in your life your relationships your business things you're negotiating some kind of a deal uh but again king of swords is really great at figuring out you know uh what he needs to give to get what he wants and again that's fairness and balance there so if you're a libra that you've been worried about being taken advantage of or giving but not getting back king of swords is very good at at the trade at the exchange king of cups is really good at like figuring somebody out and deciding do you know is this person taking advantage do i want to help or not king of swords is really good at the trade the negotiation you do this for me i do this for you right so you're you're coming into some kind of balance in your interactions or work some of you you're negotiating something at work and then later on you're like holy moly where did that come from you're feeling very proud about yourself right and you're doing it in just a very clear logical way that can't really be disputed so i feel a lot of improved communication as well here for a lot of you libras your next card here is the eight of cups and this is interesting not surprising but interesting we just talked about you getting what you wanted and those of you that you watch my readings you've heard me talk about eight of cups as a card that comes up for a lot of people who are high achievers or overachievers i see it happen in the people that i read for when eight of cups comes up for somebody usually there's somebody that's very goal oriented very goal minded they put these goals in their head of what they want to accomplish, what they want to achieve, how they want to succeed, and they don't rest until they reach that goal. But what happens is the success is very short-lived. They're happy for a little bit. They're happy that they got it, but they're like, you know what? I thought I was going to feel differently when this happened. I thought I was going to feel happier. So maybe I picked the wrong thing. Maybe I chose the wrong career maybe i need to go back to school and get like a higher degree maybe i need to focus on relationships and find a relationship okay well here's the relationship okay but maybe i'll be happier once we're married or living together and then that happens and you're like oh, i don't feel different maybe i need to have kids and then you have kids and you're like well i love my kids but i still feel unfulfilled maybe i need to go back to school and get another degree and so it just becomes this thing where it's, like it's thing after, you're constantly chasing fulfillment and nothing seems to work nothing seems to do it no matter how much you accomplish people might be looking at you at libra as like wow you've done so much in your life or, or you're or you're you're on the way of doing so much in your in your life and you kind of have it all and they expect that you would be really happy and you may have a lot of things that a lot of people would you know uh, would you know do anything to have but you might be feeling unfulfilled and uh you know uh so you might be like wondering what's wrong with me why can't i be happy eight of cups is just a card that comes up and says that you're trying to fill uh this missing piece right and you're going off to find it you're going off to figure out what's missing you don't know what's missing you just know something's missing the answer to it is the spiritual connection and this has been coming up for you guys a lot libra so some of you still don't want to hear it 
but it's coming up again. Okay. Uh, you're going to have to find that connection and spiritual connection doesn't have to be like tarot and crystals and meditation. Uh, it doesn't even have to be prayer or traditional religion. It's whatever connects you to a sense of Zen, to a sense of love, to a sense of peace. Some people feel this when they're in nature. Some people feel this when they go out for walks or hikes or when they're gardening. Some people feel it in the water. I always tell this to you guys. I was raised in the church. Uh, we went to church three times a week growing up, plus one hour of one-on-one -on -one private uh, after school Bible study once a week with like a Bible teacher. Learn to read from a children's Bible. I didn't find God until the dark night of the soul. I was like borderline atheist. I didn't know what I believed. And the only thing that made me feel better was going swimming. That was the only comforting thing in my life. And, uh, and that's where I found God. I found God in the water. And it's going to be different for different people. You know, it doesn't have to be something uh, super religious or super like, you know, new agey. It, what brings you a sense of comfort? What brings you a sense of soothing? As you allow yourself to do that, that becomes a meditation. And that meditation connects you with the spiritual center. Okay? I feel because the moon is in this picture and it's so big, I feel this uh, full moon Sagittarius eclipse energy is going to be following a lot of you Libras around for a long time like for a year or so, probably for most of you. And in the year, you're really finding yourself. You're really figuring out what makes you happy. You're really figuring out your needs and you're really figuring out what your spiritual connection is. So I feel it's like coming in in a way of progress. Your next card here, Libra, is... Bam, bam, bam. Oh, well, hello there. Hello there, Queen of Pentacles. Lovely, lovely Queen of Pentacles. So Queen of Pentacles can definitely be financial successes, right? That's all very nice. That's all very dandy. But Queen of Pentacles is also a card that I happen to associate with the home, okay? With a sense of sanctuary, with a sense of nourishment and fulfillment, okay? Uh, when Queen of Pentacles comes up, if you've been feeling scattered, one of the best things that you can do is take time and focus on your basic needs. Your first two cards were very, very powerful air cards. So elements of thought. But you need to come back into your body. You need to be present in your body. Yes, it's true. We're beings here, a spiritual beings here. And we're meant to, you know, connect with our spiritual side and our spiritual center. But we're spiritual beings in physical bodies. We came here to have a physical experience. Your angels want you to experience physical pleasures. Your angels want you to experience the physical experience. And so Queen of Pentacles is very much about that. Um, if you've been trying to bond or bring balance or harmony in your home or in uh, your relationship, then you're going to be able to do so by creating a sense of home. We talked about negotiation. Some of you might be negotiating things within family or within relationships as well. But the real kind of bonding, the real kind of getting on the same page is going to come through the physical experiences, right? Uh, you know, coming together for a good meal, uh, bonding through music, bonding through entertainment, uh, creating a sense of sanctuary in your home to where it's a pleasant place to come to. You know, if you're complaining, if you're upset that nobody's spending time with you or, or somebody's never at home, well, let's pick it up and let's make the home environment a cozy place to be. You can do that without breaking the bank. You can do that without having to spend a lot of money. Queen of Pentacles for me also is a card that indicates sometimes clearing away clutter. Some of you are unblocking yourself financially by getting rid of things that no longer serve you. If it's in good condition, you can give it away. You can donate it to somebody who's going to make better use of it. If it's broken, if it's just been sitting there, it can't be repaired, you're going to toss it. If it's anything that's making you think of a sad time in your life or doesn't feel good, you're going to be able to kind of get rid of it. If you don't know what to do or how to tell, spend time with an object. Uh, the other day I saw a beautiful throne chair uh, being advertised uh, by, by an antique shop. And I thought, oh my God, this would be such an awesome meditation chair. And I went and I checked it out 
And I just stood there next to the chair. I just kind of had my hand on it. I just kind of like felt the energy. And I was like, no, this isn't my chair because it had a lot of like sad energy attached to it. It had a lot of loss. Like I felt that, um, you know, that chair is something somebody was very attached to and maybe they had to get rid of it. They had to sell it. They needed money. So there was like this sense of sadness. There was this sense of loss. And it's true that you can clear objects. You can clear objects. You can stage them. You can smudge them. But if it's something that, you know, is kind of attached to a negative period in your life, uh, you know, consider maybe saging it, smudging it and giving it away to somebody that can get a fresh use out of it. And you don't have to have those memories or those energies pop up in your head subconsciously when you're around it. Uh, so there could be like a cleaning house, cleaning clutter, getting organized, you know, parting with uh, things that the energies don't vibe or align with you anymore. Okay, but this is all coming in for abundance, for receiving, for enjoying life. Let's go ahead and check out your oracle message, your unicorn message. And don't forget, my darlings, to watch your moon sign and rising sign videos. Some weeks, those are going to resonate with you more than others. You may need a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do for you. If you want to uh, follow the Calendly link in the description of the video, you can schedule a private card reading with me there, an intuitive card reading with me through Calendly. Alrighty, my dear. So what we have here is celebration. Well, hey, hey, celebration unicorn is here for our lovely, lovely Libras. It says a positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success. Enjoy your achievements. So we talked about that eight of cups. You're definitely going to succeed. You're definitely going to succeed at some goal. You're going to have your way. You're going to get your way. And again, look at this moon. Oh my gosh, this moon. You guys have heard me say when we're coming into a new moon cycle or a full moon cycle and you have cards that have the moon in them or the moon are really present in those cards or pictures of the moon, that's spirit's way of telling me that you're super duper going to be affected by this uh, moon cycle, by this moon energy in this current cycle, regardless if you're someone who's typically sensitive to moon energy or not. A lot of the times, a lot of air signs don't get so pulled down by moon energy. Uh, it's usually the water signs that get really like they get their butts kicked by it. I don't think you guys are getting your butt kicked by it. I think you're staying in balance, but I really, really feel like it's bringing you to the emotional center where you're getting very clear about what is fulfilling to you, what is fulfilling to you, what makes you happy and how to go about getting it. And along the ways, there's going to be achievements and spirit is saying, be sure to celebrate the achievements because it's going to you know, heighten that gratitude and bring in greater blessings, bring in greater successes for, uh, for you guys. So be sure to be in that vibration. Be sure to be in that alignment. Again, watch your moon sign and rising sign videos. Some weeks they may resonate with you more than others. A lot of you are asking me really detailed questions about, you know, how you're affected by your planetary placements. Uh, I would love to answer those questions, but unfortunately, I'm not trained in astrology. Astrology is super complex. So for that, I refer you all to the professionals. Uh, Truly Divine is still offering you guys the 30% off, a very generous 30% off. They're already reasonable prices when you use my Angel 30 discount code. So if you want more of the astrology breakdown, I refer you to them or to any astrology professional you feel comfortable with. Uh, but for me personally, if you come to me for a reading, I'm going to use my intuition. I'm going to channel messages. I'm going to use the cards. And that's how I'm going to be able to read it for you. But I won't be able to provide astrology guidance. So I just want you guys to know that. I thank you all so much for watching. I will be announcing the winners of the May giveaway on Instagram and Facebook on June 1st. Uh, and on June 1st on Instagram and Facebook, I'll also be announcing the giveaway for June. Every month I give away a, a physical item, some kind of a prize. And then I give another person a 30 minute, a uh, free 30 minute reading with me. So if you want to be in for that, just join me on Instagram and Facebook. I pick the winner from the likes and the comments. 
and um, that's all you have to do. If you see a post, you like it, hit like or comment on it. And, you know, whoever kind of jumps out at me, I pick, I'm going to pick one winner or two winners, two winners every month. One person will win a prize. One person will win a free 30 minute reading. So if you want to be in on that, be on the social media. I thank you guys so much for watching, sharing, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Channel the angel messages are coming up soon. Make sure you're subscribed so you get a notification when those are up as well. Take care, Libra.